So here are four things you need to do before you purchase a house. As a loan officer who's worked with thousands of people buying homes and looking at many situations, I realized that a lot of people don't do the basic things in order to get ready to buy a house before they even start the process. So the first thing that I would recommend you do is you make a list of things that you don't like about your current situation. Just list it out, whether it's you don't like the location, whether you don't like the space, whether you don't like the neighbors, whether it's not close enough to a supermarket, not close enough to work, whatever those reasons are, I highly recommend you make a very detailed list and there should be at least 10 things on that list of reasons why you don't like your current situation because you're going to need to refer back to those later in the process and you also need to remember why you're doing this. The second thing is debt. Now some debt you're not going to be able to avoid. You're not going to be able to avoid student loans, car payments, that kind of stuff. Most people need a car and don't have the resources to pay for it cash and many people have student loans. But the thing you can control is credit card debt. Typically, credit card debt is an indication of you are spending more than you're taking in. You need to get the credit card debt down to close to zero, if not zero. You want to have the lowest amount of debt going into purchasing a house. Having this kind of debt when you buy a house will be impossible to pay off if you can't pay it off before you purchase that home. The third thing is mortgage payments. You need to understand what the mortgage payment is going to be in the price range that you're trying to buy. I highly recommend you go to one of the big websites and somewhere in there you'll see a payment option. You'll be able to actually look up a house and it will show you what the payment on that house would be. Now I would be very, very careful when you look at that because sometimes those payments are assuming that you're putting 20% down and most people are not putting 20% down. So I would adjust the amount of the down payment to maybe three, three and a half, five, whatever it is you plan on putting down so you can see what the monthly payment will be when you purchase that house. Before you start the process of looking for a house, you need to get your head around what the monthly mortgage payment will be to see if this is even possible for you to do. And the fourth thing is a very important step too. Once you know what that payment is, you need to be able to save that amount. And what I mean by that is let's suppose the monthly payment is $2,500 a month and your current rent payment is $1,500 a month. For 90 days, you need to be able to save $1,000 a month so that the amount that you're saving and paying equals what your new mortgage payment is. You don't want your mortgage payment to be the first time that you have to pay out a large sum of money and you've never actually paid that before or saved that amount of money. I have seen many people move into a house qualify for a payment and then just be totally shocked when all of a sudden on the first of every month they have to pay three thousand dollars and prior to that they've been used to paying eighteen hundred dollars that twelve hundred dollars needs to be saved up front so you can see that you can do it for at least 90 days and if you can't maybe you need to give it a minute or lower the price or do something so that you can get to a point that is a comfortable amount that you can pay every month but if you do these four things before you start the process of buying a house, you'll find yourself in a really good position when you're going through the steps and there won't be a lot of surprises.